Uh, so welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's Make Knowledge Free campaign we go about looking at fixing iPhone issue. Now many iPhone users have reported that their SIM is not able to register on the carrier network. For example, if you have SIM of say a certain carrier, say Geo, it doesn't detect the Geo network. In case you are such iPhone user, let's look at possible troubleshooting steps. First and the foremost thing that I advise is simply removing the SIM tray, checking whether the SIM has been inserted properly, trying to blow some air into it. Simply take the SIM out and then like just ensure that the SIM has been put properly and then insert it into the SIM tray. Now hopefully doing this you will see that the signals start coming and your problem should get sorted. If this doesn't work there's one more thing which really works for me. Head towards like you know your settings here head towards mobile data then head towards network selection and where this may be automatic. So if this does not get detect automatically what you can do is simply untoggle this and like once you untoggle this what will happen is it will start showing list of networks that are available for manual registration so depending on whatever carrier you have you should be able to see your carrier listed out here so for me it's a geo sim and quite naturally i will try and register on the geo network simply tap on this and you will see a tick coming next to geo and once you do this, you will see like the LTE mark coming back. Now this is again a very powerful method. Like once you do a manual selection of networks, hopefully you will be able to find network for your SIM card. Now this is again a great way, but if this doesn't work for you, I mean the mother of all solutions is basically doing a network reset. So head towards like your general, then transfer or reset phone, tap on reset, and then tap on reset network settings. Please do note that you are simply resetting your network settings and not resetting the whole phone. So no data gets deleted, only your network settings get refreshed, meaning which you need to put in your Wi-Fi password perhaps again, but nothing else. So don't worry. So once you put in your passcode and you will get the option of resetting network settings, the phone gets rebooted. And once the reboot is complete, that is restart is complete, hopefully your network will work just fine. At this point, I would also like to say simply try and reboot your phone. I mean, even without doing all of this, if you simply reboot your phone, sometimes that also helps because rebooting your phone can get rid of all the crap background operations or applications that's been running, something that's been disturbing your network and stuff like that. All of those get killed and it kind of gives your phone a fresh life. So try simply rebooting your phone and I think it should work. So here the phone is anyways rebooted. So I'll just put in the passcode, this is edited. Once the passcode has been put, you can see that the network settings and everything is working just fine. Now a few people report that, you know, simply turning on the flight mode and like keeping it on the state for a few moments and then disabling this also helps getting your signals back. As you can see, the signals have come back. So, I mean, what the flight mode actually does is it kind of disables all your cellular connections and like you know it's kind of like rebooting your phone but in a short way and just helps kind of give it a fresh life again like all the network things and everything so things should work but now that the phone has been reset in case you're wanting to connecting to wi-fi simply you need to put in your wi-fi credentials again so try doing that also like few of the people report like simply turning off the mobile data and then turning it back on that also helps as you can see the networks come coming here keep the roaming on because sometimes you may be in roaming circles and therefore it becomes important that you turn on data roaming so try and do that as well and one last thing that i wanted to say is head towards your settings go to general and then go to vpn and device management if you have any kind of virtual private network i mean a different gateway to access internet just delete all those profiles from here I mean, sometimes you may not realize you may have been traveling overseas and that's why you required a VPN to access the internet to access some particular service. But now when you are back in your hometown and you are trying to access the internet or trying to access like, you know, network, things are not working. So simply disable like all the virtual private network profiles and hopefully that should again work. But like I said, the most powerful methods remain like simply reinserting your SIM, doing a network reset and checking for like your network manually in case automatic doesn't work well for you. 
So try doing all of this. Let us know in the comment section which one worked for you in getting your network back. Uh, also do realize that this is all for a SIM which has been unlocked and which works well. Sometimes SIMs are locked to the carriers and in that case you need to kind of you know jailbreak your SIM. We are not discussing that. We are just discussing when the SIM is fine, everything is fine and somehow the operations don't work. So hopefully this should help. If it does, kindly consider subscribing. Tap on the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to share this with your friends and love to hear out from you in the comment section. Thank you so much.